Ends lockdowns? Wait, what? What the fuck? How is this going to win the argument over with, like, conservatives? Don't conservatives literally think if you're homeless, like, you're... Like, at the heart of conservatism remains this idea that, like, your level of wealth means that you're... I mean, depending on what you advocate for, of course. But, like, at the heart of conservatism is, like, this notion that if you're poor, you're poor because you fucking failed. Like, it's your individual responsibility not to be poor. So... Those people would never in a million fucking years, like, ever treat homeless people seriously. Uh, they would consider a homeless person to be less than, like, a, like a person with a home. Not a joke. How does a homeless person comply with lockdowns, assuming shelters are full? Um, they often make exceptions for homeless people. Like, Eric Garcetti did make one. A home full person. Like, person that's for the wealthy. Trump is a person that made sure. That's that who I want to be in charge. Somebody wealthy. I don't want somebody poor to be in charge. What do you guys think about the election? You happy about this? Yeah. 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 Do you think Joe Biden, when he gets into office, should he implement a national mask mandate? Because there's a lot of people around here that aren't wearing them. I don't. I think the funniest part about Boo Boo Bennett and like conservative videos is this notion that like, just because you, just because you have an idea, doesn't mean it's a good one. Okay, like conservatives have have got it in their heads that like. Oh, as long as someone has an idea and as long as it's in agreement with me, then it's a good one. Like it's a good idea. That's not the case. Like there are plenty of people with fucking awful, God awful ideas. We call them conservatives or neoliberals or liberals. Okay. Like not every single person that gets to open their fucking mouth in front of a camera is, is actually brilliant. I mean, I am a perfect example of this. I am a very dumb doo-doo head. And yet, I open my mouth in front of a camera all goddamn day long. Doesn't make me a smart person. It makes me someone who is uh, talking in front of a camera. Don't believe people will follow Joe Biden's mass, national mask mandate. Oh, by the way, here is an update to the merch uh, for those of you who are wondering. Uh, I, I made some changes. I sent them the original Avi so they could uh, paint over it with a paintbrush. the uh, original uh, photo from Instagram added that back on to the merchandise and um, I thought you said this was going to be a good drip oh here we go uh, it's of course going to come in different colors it's going to come with a long sleeve shirt as well which font do we like the most is the real question you got the first Assam Piker one and then you got this last one which is direct rip from the old Bobby shirt Can the second and third have a baby? Well, oh, baby. No. I think I'm going to go with three. Pick number three, my lord. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Stronghold. That game. Stronghold, do you know? Like. <laughs> All right, my lord. Yes, my lord. The attendees look like explosions. Yes. They're attendees, but they are supposed to look like fucking explosions. But they're chicken tendies. Dying person, mourning, my lord. They're vegan tendies if you want them to be vegan. 
And they're meat tendies if you want them to be real fucking tendies. Doesn't matter. The amount of fucking real meat that you put in tendies is limited anyway. Schrodinger's tendies. Exactly, dude. There's going to be a crew neck sweatshirt, hoodies, if you want hoodies, long sleeve shirts. The company basically, and, and all sizes, and international shipping. I don't think there's going to be hats. You should have done an ISIS flag parody? Yeah, okay, Red Scare. So I think uh, seeing the vaccines coming, I think you should just strongly suggest that everybody wear Okay, them. but not mandatory. Or yes, mandatory. Not mandatory. Not mandatory. Okay. Well, since you like Joe Biden, I'm guessing you voted for him. Did you vote for him because of his gun control agenda that he's been running on during his uh, campaign? No. no. You, don't like, you don't like what he wants to do? No, I like what he wants to okay. do. But I voted for him mainly because of environmental issues. Okay, great. Right, interesting. Well, 10 seconds here. I'll explain to you uh, what he wants to do. If you own a gun that he's going to put on a list of banned assault weapons, you either have to give it back to the government or you have to pay a $200 fine for keeping it. And if you have a high capacity magazine, you either have to give those away or pay a $200 fine per magazine as well. Is that along the lines of what you were hoping for out of Joe Biden? Yes. 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 Okay. Wouldn't matter to us anyways. We don't own one of those. <laughs> Would it matter to a low income family who doesn't live in such a good neighborhood that needs those firearms to protect themselves? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Low income families are constantly protecting themselves with high capacity rifles uh, with with magazines that need to be more than 30 like like extendo extendo mags like what the fuck are you talking about dude yeah low income families are constantly like can i get a fucking tactical kitted out ar-15 with like literally all the bells and whistles like get the fuck out of here low income families my ass conservatives would never allow this argument to go on if you were like can a low income family not get a gucci belt like what are they going to do without the gucci belt it's the same price okay but a Gucci belt at least makes you feel good, makes you feel confident if you want to fucking wear it. And it doesn't kill people. So stupid. They either go into debt or have to be left defenseless. Is that okay? I don't believe they need those firearms to protect themselves. They can they have a shotgun, they can have a rifle, they can have Owned. a handgun. It's true. Also. And I don't think they need an assault weapon. Everything you just listed could be applied under the assault weapons ban. What, what is an assault? That's not true. That, that's fucking not true. They make it seem like this is subject to interpretation. I, I hate that conservatives do this. Like, oh, well, what would you ban him on? Literally just whatever the fuck you want, okay? That's how the law works. This is something so insanely frustrating, okay? Where it's like, oh, the pump action designation is, is uh, different than like, or... The AR-15 is simply the same as a handgun, and you could turn a, a, a 9 millimeter handgun into an AR-15 if you wanted to by, by adding, like, uh, different finishers. It's just the lower, and, and it's the, the um, uh, what do you call it? It's just, like, it just looks scary. It's not scary. It's fucking bullshit, okay? Like, you could literally just be like, yeah, we're no longer using, we're no longer allowing uh, these, these low recoil, uh, yeah, receiver, whatever. Uh, we're no longer allowing low recoil assault weapons that we have designated as these weapons to be in this fucking, in this category to, to be manufactured in the United States of America. If you were to say that, that's it. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, it literally does not matter. It, that, that's how the law works. Like, there is no like, oh, sorry. Um, oh no, they're sorry, like, you know, we just simply can't fucking, like, designate around these specific weapons. Like, it's so fucking dumb. I, I hate when gun nerds try to do that argument, okay? I, I absolutely hate when gun nerds try to do that argument. It's like, how would you ban the other guns then? Like, you could just use loopholes around it. It's like, dog, you're already admitting that, like, you would have to create a loophole around it 
And guess what happens with loopholes? You fucking plug them. All right? There it is. Assault weapons. I, an assault weapon is uh, uh, numerous shots fired by one, one weapon. Like, a like she's trying to do the whole, like, I bet you'd be in favor of high capacity magazines if your store was being rioted and looted by a mob of straight white men. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Chunk Yogurt's back, dude. I bet you'd be in favor of high capacity magazines if your store was being robbed and looted. Yeah. Yeah. So many stores all around the country are being robbed and looted by, um, you know, I guess, I guess black men. That's why he's saying straight white men as a counterpoint. And that's why everyone needs a gun. It's only the fucking small business owners that have guns. Like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. I guess. No, that's not a joke. That's our resident uh, idiot. We got some neolib idiots in here too, but that's our resident uh, conservative or, or chud idiot. No, no, he's not pretending. That's actually his point of view. Oh, we're keeping him. He's great. Machine gun or an AK-47. Well, machine guns are banned. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about semi-automatic rifles. And I don't believe in those. You don't believe in semi-automatic rifles? No. Okay. Well yeah, it's, again, all you need to do in this argument is be like, I don't care. Just ban them, okay? Even if it's purely on aesthetics, ban it. No more manufacturing. There's too many of it in circulation. Why are you advocating for the interests of the gun manufacturers? It doesn't matter. It's a hobby. It's a fun hobby. Just ban it. Oh, on aesthetic grounds? Ban it. Doesn't matter. Ban it. Because the bump stock, even the bump stock, is technically the, the invention of a loophole. A bump stock does not actually turn your semi-automatic rifle into a fully automatic rifle. A bump stock uses the recoil... So that it, with the recoil pushback, it turns the fucking trigger into uh, basically a, a hair trigger. Or it, it, it essentially uses the recoil of your fucking shots to turn it into an automatic weapon. It's not, it's not actually an automatic weapon. It's still a semi-automatic weapon. Okay, ban him. It's a loophole. Ban him. See how easy that was? It's great. Trump advocated to ban those and i think that it quietly went away yeah the recoil pulls the trigger quickly for you why not i'm just not a gun person what about other people who are do you think they should have the irony of course is that like if you ask conservatives they will literally say like no you shouldn't be able to have an abortion it's like are you going to have an abortion you don't even you know, you're, I don't even think you could, you're, you're a dude and, and, you know, not like a trans dude. So what's up? They'll be like, I don't give a fuck. It, it, they shouldn't have it. Right. They place themselves in other people's businesses all the goddamn time. But when liberals are doing the same thing, they're like, oh, well, that's really selfish. It will fuck off. Yeah. It's selfish. Suck my dick. Okay. Maybe you should have won the election then. How about that? That's my argument going, going forward. I can't believe Boo Boo Bennett is like also annoying the shit out of these like otherwise wonderful old people who are just trying to have a, a good day out, you know, get some fucking fresh air. Have to go into debt or be left defenseless? Why would they go into debt? $200 per rifle, per gun, and $200 per magazine. That's a lot of money, especially for a low... Wow. Oh no. What will these people do? What will people do if they can't buy? Oh, oh, he did ban him. Oh, I thought they quietly uh, just let go of the ban itself. I mean, again, this argument could absolutely, this argument itself, the NRA is correct when they say, oh, uh, this is, an ex this is uh, directly against the Second Amendment. They are technically correct. The constitutional interpretation, the modern constitutional interpretation of the Second Amendment dictates that this sort of infringement on, uh, on like a modification on a gun is unconstitutional. This ban literally means that you can ban other fucking types of rifles as well, just like this one. Okay? They're, so they're right. You could expand on this, uh, this bump stock ban. You literally could. 
Also, fuck the Constitution. I don't give a shit. But it, that's besides the point. Um, Ubu only advocates for poor people when it benefits their argument. Literally using homeless people in the title to prop up our arguments. Yeah. How many guns are low-income families purchasing? It's like, again, it, it, it's so dumb. Like, there are reasonable and, and cheaper alternatives if you need a gun for home defense. There are reasonable and cheaper alternatives. And AR-15 is not great for home defense regardless. Like, it's not a home defense gun. The AR-15 is only good if you are a, a smaller person and uh, you want to kill multiple targets in succession. That's what it's good for. That's literally what it's made for. That's what it's good for. And uh, women and children can use it. Uh, which also makes it a little bit more dangerous, especially on the children front, obviously not on the women front. So th and that's usually how it's uh, sold. It's low recoil. It's easy to fucking aim down the sights. And, uh, and, and you can kill numerous targets in succession uh, without like a magazine change. All right. And, and that's it. That's what a fucking AR-15 is good for. That's why it is the, the designated weapon of choice for mass shooters. Okay. Um, it's also fun to shoot these guns. Like I admit, I, I don't have a problem with shooting guns. I, I find them to be uh, enjoyable as long as it's uh, done safely and securely. I think that like, it's not something I hide. I think it's a, it's a hobby. It's a murder dildo. Okay. It's a murder dildo. You're not, you know, it's fun if you want to play with it. But ultimately, you need to recognize that it's still a dildo. You can't fucking take it out in public, okay? And also, it's still a uh, primary function of the murder dildo is to murder. So while it might be fun to play with it uh, in, in specific circumstances, you still have to, you know, you still have to be careful. And uh, it's totally reasonable to have restrictions around the murder dildo that you enjoy playing with. Because ultimately, that's what it is. You're, you are enjoying a murder dildo. Okay. How many times does this moment need to arise before you bring a left-wing proponent of assault rifle ownership on the stream to have an actual discussion about it? I don't know. Um, I'm forever going to censor. I'm forever going to censor left-wing opinions that are pro-gun because I'm terrified of how good your arguments are. I think that's what it is. Sorry income family who might not live in a good neighborhood i never heard that he was charging two hundred dollars he wants people to either register I thought, I thought that they were going to pay the people for the guns <laughs> yeah a buy a, a, a what, i'm sorry that's what they should do they should do what if the people got to get rid of their guns they should buy them back well I don't think people should have to get rid of their guns. Yeah, millions of hunters are out deer hunting right now. Zero of them are using AR-15s to hunt with. Yeah, no shit. You don't use AR-15s to fucking hunt deer. There you go. Consider that point addressed. Wait, what? No, I was being sarcastic. I just don't want the left to look fucking embarrassing in front of a, a, a broader audience by uh, saying LARPy uh, psychotic things like, um, you know, uh, bringing up like quotes about how uh, any effort to take uh, any effort to disarm the the proletariat should be uh, should be stopped at all costs or whatever the fuck you're just gonna look like a larpy idiot under no pretext yeah the famous that's why I just uh, don't like it it's like embarrassing I don't want to I want to act like it's not a real thing that people are saying um, I don't want like I also don't want leftists uh, unironically and uncritically. Uh, repeating NRA propaganda like hook, line, and sinker that is expressly created for the purpose of the gun lobby or gun manufacturers to make more money. It's a really embarrassing thing to, to see. And that's the part of the reason why I don't like uh, having lefties on to advocate for AR-15s. Like anything beyond like uh, actual gun control, anything beyond actual gun control um, and, and uh, like promotion of safe usage is is silly as fuck i think it should also be limited like significantly limited gun ownership should be um are you telling the nra created Karl marx no that part of its advocacy is limited in its scope um 
what is frustrating to me is the additional uh, advocacy that I hear from uh, the additional advocacy that I hear from leftists that are that mirror NRA propaganda that only work to benefit the bottom line of gun manufacturers and no one else. Guns, white, white. You sounding kind of elitist now, bro? Okay, yeah, I, I know I am. I, I am an elitist on on guns. I guess I think that they're fun, but every single person that uses it should demonstrate that they're uh, perfectly capable of u uh, using the gun. Uh, they should have a driver's license style system. Uh, yes, the government should have access to people that have guns. Sorry, that's just how it fucking works. At least localities should have access to the uh, people that have guns and what kind of guns they have. And uh, yeah, that's 1000% something I believe in. If you want to have a murder dildo, you need to be able to show that you know how to use a murder dildo. Um, I think anything outside of that is, is laughable and silly. Uh, and uh, ultimately, we if it were up to me, I'd uh, ban all the murder dildos if we're being real. But it's not going to happen. Easier to get a gun and a driver's license. Even my Trump or grandma thinks guns should be harder to get. Yeah. Why, why aren't we allowed to defend ourselves? If implement something like that, then what are you going to do? But it's not LARPy. This is what the Black Panthers believe in. People like Killer Mike advocate for. These people aren't dumb or embarrassing. Um, no, I think that there is an argument to be made that it is dumb. Especially considering the fact that ultimately uh, the Black Panthers lost. Like it's a, it, it's, it's uh, sad to say. And I do somewhat understand that guns, unfortunately, are one way to legitimize your cause or to make people or take people, make people take you seriously. Um, Self-defense at a time when uh, police are literally fucking murdering you or white supremacists are literally murdering you is a relatively understandable thing to do as well. But again, um, there's a push and pull. And it, still, it legitimizes the the ultimate uh, the, the the ultimate pain that the government retaliates and causes you in the eyes of uh, the overwhelming majority. Ultimately, it doesn't matter because you're not overthrowing a government with your guns, and you're not going to be able to overthrow the government with your guns. The chuds are not going to be able to do that, and you're not going to be able to do that either. RTBA, you don't live in America. Shut up. You can't even have a gun where you live. We shouldn't have that in place for voting. Horrendous take. Voter ID. I wouldn't have a problem with voter ID if everyone had a national ID like assigned to them at birth that they can easily get. Like the problem with voter ID is that it's not free. It's expensive to get an ID. It's hard to get an ID and it's a driver's license. Like the fuck do you mean? That's the whole point. The reason why we can't have fucking comparable voter ID systems like they have in like European countries and shit is literally because we don't have a, a, a federal system in place where everyone can have a national identification. It's, it's purposely being... They, voter suppression doesn't just happen with people saying you, you, we need to implement voter ID protocols. They happen alongside uh, the, the like DMVs uh, closing down in that specific region. Like You, you get that, right? SSN is not good enough. You can't do that with social security numbers. Many people don't know this, but um, your social security number, you, someone could literally mimic your social security number if they know your time and place of birth. If they could figure out your social security number. Um, SSIM password birth certificate. Really? You, you have a birth certificate that you can pull out right now to go out and vote? And social security is one of the least least protected uh, uh information yeah the number did you guys not know this
Yeah. I don't know why people say passport. Like, it's so fucking easy to get a passport. Have you ever... People that say, why don't you use a passport, have literally never gotten a passport. Do you know how fucking difficult and how long of a process it is to get a passport? And it's not fucking free either. Like... It's so stupid. LMAO, not true. You can get close, but not exact. Again, it's it's too easy to fucking compromise. That's an idiotic system to to run anything over. TJ kimlik social security diye mi orada? TJ kimliği yok bunların işte. Fewer people have uh, passports than yeah than driver's licenses. Ever heard of expediting? Yeah, dude. You're good job. Yeah, good job, dude. Yeah, you're you're really showing your fucking ass here when you when you make an argument. It, it's a real Marie Antoinette take to be like, huh, "What poor people can't have a national ID? Why don't they get a passport?" Like, <laughs> like, okay, dude, yeah, let them eat cake. They don't have bread. I don't understand it. Wow, why don't you expedite for three hundred dollars extra in a country where only where. <laughs> 60% of the population do not have 400 extra dollars in emergency spending. <laughs> I do declare. They're going to just roll up into your house and do whatever they want anyways. Not my house. Not my house. <laughs> you yourself. Yeah, I can Good bet. Uh, I can bet you too. because yeah. you, you guys are Cops are taking bribes or permits. You can't regulate the Second Amendment. It shall not be infringed. Okay, dude. You can keep yelling that all you want. All right. Like, people honestly always say, like, oh, dude, well, guerrilla warfare is feasible. Like, it's disproportionate. But guerrilla warfare is feasible. Look at, like, the Viet Cong. Or uh, look at, like, uh, what's going on in Afghanistan. It's like, bitch, you want that to happen here? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, do you want that to happen here? Do you, do you think it's, it's going well in Afghanistan? Would you like to live in those conditions? You get mad when your chicken tendies are, are not warm enough. When mommy eats the chicken tendies but the but the middle is too hot and it hurts your tongue and you're gonna sit here and be like yeah we need to do disproportionate warfare like in like uh the the taliban does in afghanistan okay dude seems great that's that seems fucking uh, uh solid Only 42% of Americans have passports. Passports are more expensive and less common than driver's licenses. Really let them eat cake from that chatter. Yeah. It's not an argument for extreme gun control. My argument is not extreme gun control, you fucking idiot. Just remove yourself from your, your delusional uh, fascist American worldview for a brief moment. Okay? Like, that's not... Think about it. I said every person that has a gun should be able to fucking demonstrate that they use it and have a driver's license style fucking process. Uh, and, and, you know, if you move up in the ranks of, of uh, like, whatever kind of gun you, uh, you want to use, you need to get a separate license for it. And these motherfuckers are saying that's extreme gun control. Like, that's how, by the way, Europeans, that's how fucking psychotic our Americans are. I just want you to understand, like, and these are progressive people, supposedly. What is this? Fuck you, dude. Sir, advocate, you, you guys, will be. You, you guys will be pronounced. <laughs> no. Would you? Would you advocate for that? No, I wouldn't advocate for it. No. Well, you guys voted for the guy who wants that. <clears throat> no, I just believe that there's not going to be anarchy where you're going to have to protect your house and your possessions. I don't believe that's coming. That's already happened. Do you have you not seen the riots or in the looting and Donald going Trump into won. neighborhoods? Donald Trump won. I agree. <laughs> No, and I don't believe Donald Trump won, and I think he's the shittiest person in the whole world. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whole world? Oh, wow, you said shitty. There's not at least one person worse than him? No. Aw. Like, see, like, clearly there are worse people than Donald Trump in the world, obviously. I mean, like, it, clearly there are. But it's, like, cute that this old lady is just like, yeah, in her mind, Donald Trump is that bad. Okay, chill. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you psycho? You think... 
Like these people think like, you know, regular liberals are, are evil demons. And then she's like acting shocked when someone says Donald Trump's the worst person in the whole world. All right, so Putin's better than him. Putin's not an American. You said in the whole world. In the whole world. Good argument, by the world. way. I think he's worse than Putin. Oh my gosh. You might be the- Hey, pound for, based. Uh, pound for pound. Again, Putin, horrible, anti-LGBT, oligarch, fucking sucks. Uh, also has not killed nearly as many people as America has. So technically, pound for pound, Donald Trump, still worse. There are very few leaders on the planet that will be as bad as Americans if we're talking about death, overall death and destruction. As soon as you sit on the throne of American empire, very few people are going to be worse than you. As soon as you fucking take on that role, it's over. You're like across the board, probably one of the worst people on the planet. The only liberal who might, who might think that. What, he, what has he done that's so bad? Well, he's polluted the environment for one, so that our children and our grandchildren won't be able to live in a world that's free and good. Of uh, breathable Ma'am, if I say something to people, would you be offended? You're here, man. I mean, Donald Trump also personally, like, has a responsibility over 250,000 Americans that have died. So whenever we talk about, like, oh, Putin tortures, like, LGBT folks or whatever, which is definitely a fucking argument to make about how horrible Putin is, like, you can never... 270,000 fucking... Uh, 270,000 Americans have died. So what's up? Like... There are very few people on the planet that are even worse to their own citizens. Thank you. What if Bernie stepped in? Yes, Bernie would be responsible for more death and destruction than most other countries' leaders as well. The moment he steps in and continues the fucking agenda of our uh, military industrial complex. Ma'am, what would Donald Trump, you wouldn't be able to be here. Joe Biden want to shut this place down. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to walk around not even with a mask. You know why? They want socialism. They closed off. Listen, ma'am, it's easy. It's not even hard. They've shut all the businesses down. You know what's coming next? They're going to offer you a plan to pay you every month to keep your businesses down. You believe this. I believe they should shut. Devastating. That would be so bad. What are these? Making me fat, chap. Okay, gluten free doesn't mean it's calorie free. Mm. Delicious. The uh, bowling alleys and the restaurants and the hairdressers down until we get I this under control. I don't think you quite understand, ma'am. You don't put a much of a price on life. Uh, there are millions. Can, can of I ask why you would have? Where have you been eating? I love this. She's a wonderful person. He's, this is a wonderful couple. It's like making me reconsider my stances on boomers. My heart. What a thoughtful and kind person. Seriously, like the way that they are talking about these issues just shows me that they are just nice people with um with a with a genuinely wholesome and empathetic worldview. Being well, you've been out today. No place. We don't eat in restaurants. So you guys are on vacation, or you just we own a house here. Okay, but you haven't been shopping, grocery shopping, no, not in any. What the fuck is this argument, you dumb? Psycho, like, no one is like, oh, we need to have shutdowns so we can't fucking eat. Yo, this is what really pisses me off. The dude in Canada, remember the barbecue guy in, in fucking Canada was like, they're letting big businesses remain open, don't you know? But they want my small barbecue store to shut down uh, for, and we can't do uh, indoor dining in my small barbecue place, don't you know? It's like, dog. How are you going to get food without grocery stores? Like, are you fucking stupid? Of course they're going to fucking remain open, you dumb fuck. Like, what are you saying? Like, what, what, what are you, what is this argument? Like, 
shutdown means that like we no longer have the need for food? Restaurants. Man, I'm homeless. Well, not homeless, houseless. Okay. Homes where the heart is. <laughs> but I got just as many cards as you. You know what they worth? Nothing. We're broke. This country is broke. It is, and if you don't even know that, try to get your benefits. Trump is a person that's for the wealthy. Trump is a person that made sure that's that who I want to be in charge. Somebody wealthy. I don't want some. I mean, people that shit on this fucking obviously delusional homeless dude, um, are also usually the same people that fucking defend capitalism. You know what I mean? It's like. It's like, bitch, you're closer to that dude than you are to Elon Musk. You know that, right? Like, his, his position. You are infinitely closer to that dude and, and his position in, in the socioeconomic spectrum than you are to fucking Elon Musk or, or definitely Jeff Bezos. Meanwhile, you're out here fucking getting cucked by capitalism and, and advocating for it. You look like that. Somebody pull up me in charge, they're going to make every decision. And guess what, ma'am? He don't even care about his own party because Trump was never a Republican. He was a Democrat. He gave to all these people. As soon as he ran for president, he was on every show. Before he became president, everybody wanted to be in this hotel. Everybody wanted to give it. Everybody wanted Trump, right? Until he ran for president. When he ran for president, guess what happened? As soon as he walked in them stairs, it all changed. You know why? Because he said that one word, change the swamp. He wanted to get rid of the swamp. He didn't get rid of the swamp. He made the swamp worse. He, didn't you read the New York Times? All these business deals. I don't deals? listen to the New York Times because it's a lying agency. No, it isn't. You it is. So. Facebook and... and uh, I don't listen. Bro, she's homeless. He's homeless. What, what do you mean? Did you not read the New York Times? Like, and very likely drunk too. Like, you gotta, sometimes you gotta fucking cater your, your argument uh, around like who you're talking to or what, what the person is advocating for. And there's, by the way, plenty of homeless people that fucking still obviously read. They have phones. Libraries exist. But like, this is not one of those dudes, okay? As soon as you go, Donald Trump is rich and that's why I want him to be in a position of power, then, like, it doesn't matter if you have a fucking roof over your head or not. They definitely don't read the New York Times. Okay? <laughs> Don't you read the, I'm going to just say, don't you, didn't you read Architectural Digest? <laughs> of course you read it because you're an elitist. I always say thank you. Listen to that, Nate. I don't even have Fox a News, and those are all lies. Those are all liars. I'll do my okay, I think away, we're man. done. I think you are too. Hey, if Fox, I love this if Fox News are liars, then Trump won, this. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my name's so. Chief. Hi, Chief. That's what everybody calls me. <laughs> nice but I've been I've been you. through this stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. I even come one year, like you did. And you believe this, okay? I walked from that end right there. I was a licensed tour guide for the city of St. Okay, Louis. I yeah. drove the horse and carriage. Mm -hmm. I came to the whole city asking everybody what the 25th was, right? The 25th of December. You know what they said? Not one of them said that Jesus was a, it was the birth date of Jesus. Not, Santa Claus. Even, not <laughs> one. Why would you make a video out of this and even keep the parts where it's very clearly he's just out of his fucking mind? Also, isn't Jesus' birthday like 
Easter or some shit? Or is that when he comes back to life? Like... Jesus was born in the spring, but Easter has to do with his death and then his second coming. If you made $10 million a year since the pyramids were built, you would still be worth less than half of Bezos. Oh my God, what? <laughs> That's a good question. That's Not good one question person we said that. Yeah. They all said, oh. Oh, you get presents on the yeah. 25th. Yeah. Oh, but not one of them said it was Jesus' birthday. Yep. Not. It, it was a day of pagan celebration that got co-opted. Oh, that's disgusting. Typical Christians fucking yoinking pagan uh, holidays and shit. Unacceptable. A one, and I reiterate this, not a one. Yeah, it's what I have witnesses too because I have friends out here. We are running our biggest sale ever at libertyhangout.tv. Just oh. COVID hurricanes, wildfires, 2020 has had it all. But there's also the possibility of a trillion dollar disaster, and you probably haven't heard anything about it. It likely won't happen this month, but as Ginger Z explains in this week's It's Not Too Late. Now's the time to get ready. Why wouldn't they? My mom is very impressed with you guys for knowing Saturnalia. I guess she also hears me responding to so many of you that she probably thinks that uh, you're a bunch of dummies. That she would have such low expectations. Okay, I don't want to watch this, whatever this is. Super Cup bombshell hearing highlights. These war criminals are trying to prevent a genocide. Can't watch that, probably. There's a lot of... White courage haunts your dreams. Insane Turkish warlord destroys a woman. Demon souls. Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to watch this before. In March, CNBC personality and former hedge fund Cretan Rick Santelli suggests, Santelli suggests that we give everyone uh, coronavirus to protect the economy. He's still on air, and today, with the U.S. closing in on 300,000 deaths and a colossal spike looming, vent went ballistic over restaurant How lockdowns. How would be if you tried to quarantine everybody because of the generic type flu? Now, I'm not saying this is the generic type flu, but maybe we'd be just better off if we gave it to everybody... And then in a month, it would be over because the mortality rate of this probably isn't going to be any different if we did it that way than the long term picture. But the difference is we're re wreaking havoc on global and domestic economy. I just I, I just as a as a as a public health and public service announcement uh, for the audience, the difference wait, between wait, a big all, box retailer. Who is this? Hold on. The difference between <clears throat> the, oh, who else? the different who the else? difference between <laughs> a else? big box retailer. Hold on. The difference between a big box retailer and a restaurant or, frankly, even a, a church are so different, it's unbelievable. Going I disagree. into a big box retailer, I disagree. you're wearing I disagree. You're wearing You can a mask. have your thoughts and I you're can have mine. You're required to wear a mask. I disagree. I, it's science. I'm sorry. It's science. If it's you're wearing a mask, science. it's a different story. 500 people at a Lowe's aren't any safer than 150 people in a restaurant that holds 600. I don't believe My guy, without grocery stores, we die. Why are they so psychotic? Why do they not recognize this? Thank you, Anthropologist Journey, for the 72 big ones. Like, I just don't understand how you can make this argument when people are like, oh, you're just on board with big business. That's why you want fucking grocery chains to, to remain open. It's like, no, I'm on board with living, dude. Like, I'm, I'm just on board with knowing what it takes to survive, like, groceries. And, and guess what? Sorry. 
You can fucking love Allah, God, whatever you want to call it, from the comfort of your fucking home through a Zoom meeting if you want to. But you can't fucking eat air and survive if, you, if the grocery store is closed. As far as restaurants goes, you can fucking operate without having people in it. Believe it. Sorry. Don't believe okay. it. And I you, live in an area don't... where there's a lot of restaurants that have fought back and they don't have any problems. And they're open. Okay. You don't have to believe it, but let me just say this. You're doing a I disservice to I the won't. viewer because the viewers need to you understand it. You are doing it. a disservice we, we are to the it. viewer. You are. You are. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, 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 I, I would like to keep our viewers as healthy as humanly possible. The idea of packing people into yeah. restaurants. I think our viewers are smart enough to make part of those decisions on their own. Completely different I don't things. think that I'm much smarter different than all the viewers like some people do. Can I get in here, please, and get back to the how's jobs that, report? How's that working out for you, Rick? <laughs> Why are you so mad? What are you, a restaurant, dude? My man is a my man's literally a restaurant, bro. I didn't realize that he was Will Republican infighting help Democrats win the Senate? Oh hell yeah. These are some good ass links. I want a young child with their folks to come on up here. What the fuck? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We just arrived in Alpharetta, Georgia, outside of Atlanta. This is the Stop the Steal event that's being hosted by Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood. This is about how the race is still being stolen, allegedly, falsely, I would add. In a mind-boggling display of political doublespeak, President Trump is campaigning with Georgia Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler while simultaneously tweeting that the state's Republican governor is, quote, hapless and the presidential election was rigged. This unreality is seeping into the Republican Party. I would encourage all Georgians to make- I knew they were under a highway, dude. What a fucking awesome place to do it. What an awesome, it's like symbolic and beautiful. Honestly, it's great. Make it known that you will not vote at all until your vote is secure. Do you plan to Under vote in the Senate runoff races? I'm not sure right now because I'm still, I see because I want to, I still want to see if they are doing anything for us. If they need our vote, they need to earn it. Do you feel like Senator Purdue, Senator Leffler have earned your vote right now? Not right now. I think they need to do more. What do you want to see them do? I think they need to work with President Trump and uh, demand an answer about the voter fraud from the governor, Brian Kemp, and the Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger. Do you think Republicans are, are going to be scared off from voting because they don't believe that so. it's secure? I think so, because some of my Republican friends told me they are not going to vote in January. So. I think some people will boycott this realm. Okay. I don't think that's going to be a reality. I'm sorry. But I, I hope it is. I won't stop from, from agitating. I won't stop from, from uh, you know, like I really do hope that the, there are plenty of Republicans who just like refuse to vote. That'd be so tight. That'd be so fucking tight, but it's probably at most going to be like one to 2% of people that end up not voting, especially because Donald Trump is going to turn around and tell them to vote tomorrow at the rally that we're going to watch, but it would be sick. It would be sick. It, that's a fuck ton of people. Yeah, I know, especially when it's in the margins. I agree, but in order for the Democrats to win, they need a little bit more than 1%. of election if Brian Kemp doesn't give us an answer about the voter fraud. Do you think uh, President Trump is potentially hurting turnout here in Georgia? Uh, yes. But I Who you support, Alijan Suzanne, who you support, Trump or Biden? Hold on one second.
my friend, I support America's only president since Ronald Reagan, of course, Donald J. Trump, the man who has done everything for this goddamn country. And that's precisely why, although I am a state of Georgia resident, I will not be voting for these two charlatans, Kelly Loeffler and motherfucking David Perdue. That's right. Goddamn charlatans, they're, they're rhinos. They're not fighting hard enough. They're fake friends. And I fucking hate them. The only way to show what is right, the only way to make the Republicans understand that you do not get away with the awful way that you have treated Donald Trump, who's done everything for us, is by not voting in the Georgia races. You need to write in Donald J. Trump to show every goddamn American in the National Republican Party that we will not stand idly by. We will punish you. Amen, brother. God bless America. God bless our troops. I will suck off the flag right now. I will give me a flag. I will put it directly in my ass. Do you understand me? I want to fuck a flag right now. I'm so fucking horny for America. I wanted to fuck. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to fuck more. My cousin or the flag. My mom just walked in and said, Aman ya Rabbi ya, arkada odadan duyuluyosun. She's like, she's like, two of the, both of the doors are closed and I can still hear you from the back room. I believe that, that integrity is more important. So the integrity of the vote is more important to you than, than, than the majority in the Senate? Yes, that is correct. Because a lot, a lot, a lot of people like, like me are demanding an answer about, about that. Trump is coming to Georgia this weekend and a source close to him says he'll tell MAGA voters what they quote should be doing, voting for Leffler and Purdue. Loyal Republicans like Tommy Thomas, whose barbershop is a campaign trail staple, aren't just worried about the runoffs. Were you surprised that Georgia went blue in the presidential race? Yeah, very much. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know it was going to be this year. Are you concerned about the infighting right now between Republicans in the state? Yeah, I am. I, I, I don't know. Tommy Thomas? It's not very creative now, is it? This, my man is like a like a Saxon in like 1001 like Uhtred, son of Uhtred my name is Tommy Thomas of the Thomas house I'm Tom Tom for short he's the fucking he, he is the Earl of Bebenborough dude I'm Tommy, son of Thomas son of Thomas this right here is my barber shop I'm the Earl of Fulton County. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing that. Uh, it's really stupid. We need to work together. We need to play as a team. And right now we got team has got an eye in it. So we got a lot to lose. They don't. So they got the present seat and they got supposed to have the present seat. They got the uh, Congress. If they get the Senate seat, it's nobody's fault but the Republican people in Georgia by not getting off their butt and going to vote. But the Democrats aren't going to just sashay to victory. Biden won the state, but the GOP candidates got more votes than their challengers. If all Georgians vote like they did in November, the Dems are still going to lose. This is all about turnout. We have to let people know where, when, and how they vote. The stakes are Unless we win these two U.S. Senate races, we will not be able to get out of this crisis. Donald Trump is leaving, and Georgia has the power to write the next chapter. So I want to thank the AAPI community for your friendship. Democratic candidate John Ossoff has to put together a coalition of people who don't normally vote. For example, as a bloc, Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders had low turnout in Georgia. 
at least until this year, 2020 saw a 91% increase at the polls, and they're twice as likely to vote for a Democrat. So it's up to the party to keep them engaged. Why did you host John Ossoff today? I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat. I voted Republican. I vote. I vote. I voted Democrat. So uh, I vote for the person, not the. Dude, no, they're so stupid. Dude, I love how stupid Americans are. It's so great. Oh, it's so good. I just, you know, I vote for who is best. Like that's the Keemstar take, dude. The party. Um, I don't think David Perdue represents Rich coming from you, Keck. You try hard seven. Is it all right if I touch myself? Ugh. It's me as a person as an american the asian presence in georgia has always been strong but the voting presence hasn't been strong because our parents y'all are that too ban happy dude not i'm not into the whole voting process if i ban people like that all the time i'm not gonna have any audience left dude that's like the average twitch viewer's brain like literally this is like a normal twitch chatter he didn't say anything transphobic he didn't say anything racist like questionable with the try hard but still but my generation, second generation, third generation, who are Americans through and through, like born here, bred here, you know, came here at a young age. Own business. What do you think about D doing IRL canvassing in Georgia? Good. Good for him. Good for him and his community. I hope it works. I hope it's successful. There's this, there's this notion that like, um, I was, uh, undermining his, his efforts or something. I, I hope it, it works. I look, I've done canvassing. Uh, I've done canvassing on stream during the primaries. And I think that um, participating in the in the electoral process this way is, is always good. Getting younger people out and engaged to, uh, to participate in the electoral process is good. I know that there is a... <clears throat> I know that there is this, uh, this, this um, idea out there that I'm against these efforts or something. And it's, it makes for a comfortable narrative. I'm not. I think it was a misconstrued. Um, considering the fact that I've been doing it and I still do it, and I think it's a good thing to do, even if it's to get people more engaged in door knocking, even if it's to literally fucking learn about what people on the ground in Georgia actually feel like, even though it is, of course, limited in its scope, the people that you target are not going to be like fucking Trump supporters and shit. Um, that's not how door knocking works, but, but yeah, no, it's, it's a good, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Did you see Train drive out of his way to bury our chat before scuff last night? What do you mean? Bury our chat. You've always advocated for voting. You just don't blast people who choose not to because they don't like either option. Um, not only have I, would you ever mobilize your community in a similar way? I have, I have in the past. Like, and I, and I will continue to do so. Um, not everything that you see is in front. He's not door knocking. They're handing out flyers, not shitting on them. Just explaining what they're doing. Still, it's fine. Ultimately, it's still a good, it, it's still a good thing to get like as many of these fucking weirdo DGG shitlords out and about in sunlight. Okay. I think that that will develop a better uh, perspective for them. Like it will help develop a better perspective on the American electorate. They might actually learn a thing or two. I'm not even kidding. I personally did when I did that shit and I talked about it. Um, that's the funniest part uh, about this process is that it is really illuminating. Um, and it is actually really good to talk about, to talk to like regular old fucking American citizens that are, are, uh, oftentimes living in a, in really, really horrible conditions. Um, going out to them 